Hi, my name is Brian Wormers, and I am an assistant professor of nursing at the University of Sioux Falls in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and a PhD student at the University of Missouri at Kansas City. Today, I'm presenting on the academic performance impact of educational sleep interventions on traditional BSN students. The purpose of this presentation is to discuss a narrative literature review regarding the academic impact educational interventions have related to chronic short sleep duration, synthesize the evidence, and then discuss the implications for practice. Chronic short sleep duration is an average sleep duration of fewer than six hours of sleep and 24 hours per lockup, tack, and calvert in 2010. Sleep deprivation has a negative impact on health and cognition. This includes increased accidents, increased fatigue, decreased psychomotor performance, low academic performance, weight gain, diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, stroke, anxiety, depression, increased alcohol consumption, mood disturbances, and increased risk of death. Alteration of sleep is common as approximately 50 to 70 million Americans have a chronic disorder of sleep and wakefulness that hinders daily function and negatively affects health, per the National Heart Lung Blood Institute in 2003. Sleep deprivation is a public health concern that occurs in about a quarter of the population per the Institute of Medicine and Committee on Sleep Medicine and Research in 2006. This includes college students as they average significantly less than the recommended amount of sleep per Austin in 2008. College students are often unaware of the extent to which sleep deprivation negatively affects their ability to complete cognitive tasks per Pilcher and Walters in 1997. Thus, CSSD may lead to diminished learning in academic settings and clinical knowledge deficit that negatively impact patient care and patient safety. Thomas et al. 2017. Sleep hygiene education exists and can improve sleep quality and quantity, but the research gap is, do these behavioral change interventions impact academics? My narrative literature review initially resulted in 134 articles screened, eight articles eligible, and three articles included. In reviewing the articles, three randomized control studies were chosen based on their differing educational approaches. These articles were analyzing, used the CONSORT statement of randomized trials of non-pharmacological treatments, a 2017 update, and deemed to be in high quality. Results included that all the interventions used educational approaches. However, Kloss et al. in 2016 state that the best means for translating knowledge into behavioral change remains in question. Brown, Bubbles, and Soper in 2016 studied a sleep treatment and educational program for students that successfully provided an educational sleep interventional program to combat common sleep complaints expressed by university students. It resulted in better sleep hygiene practices and to a lesser extent improved sleep quality. Hirschner and O'Brien had a sleep educational website in which they used to improve college students' sleep behaviors, including decreased use of electronics prior to sleep, a more regular schedule, and a lower likelihood of insufficient sleep before an examination. This led to an increased sleep quality and lower depression scores. Kloss et al. in 2016 utilized a four-week Sleep 101 workshop that helped college students reduce maladaptive thoughts about their sleep. This utilized two 90-minute workshops with handouts and journaling that increased sleep hygiene knowledge and decreased difficulty with falling asleep. Based on the three articles, sleep deprivation is a negative state that impacts academic performance. Positively impactful interventions to improve the quality or quantity of sleep include facilitating a dark and quiet environment, establishing regular sleep and wake times, and stop negative sleep behavior such as using alcohol, caffeine, or viewing electrical device screens 30 minutes prior to sleep. None of these articles mention that obtaining the recommended amount of sleep negatively impacts performance, nor if improved sleep improves academic performance. Implications for research include that there are negative health and neurocognitive consequences of being sleep deprived. Educational interventions are successful in causing behavioral change, which then improves sleep quantity and or quality. Since sleep deprivation causes decreased neurocognitive function, these interventions may improve sleep. Assumptions are made that this improves academic performance. However, no studies link improved sleep habits with the improved academic performance. Thus, the research gap remains and is the area for future research. In conclusion, CSSD negatively impacts the health and performance of nursing students and warrants interventions and resources on these interventions. Educational interventions lead to behavioral change and subsequently improve sleep quality and quantity. However, there remains the need for high quality, high rigor research on the academic performance impact of educational sleep interventions on traditional BSN students. Here are my references.
This concludes my presentation. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to contact me at bmw4m9 at umsystem.edu.